Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. We're in the tattoo shop and we've got peepers here. Now, we're going to have to try to help Sybil out to, to by basically knocking peepers out. So, got a couple of things we can try. One is obviously the boxing glove because, you know, it worked on the, the other kid in the shop. So, let's give it a go. I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Right, it's just going to be more difficult than that then, isn't it? So... I can see you! Please, stop doing that! So we're going to have to try and sneak up on him, maybe? What? Can we shut the closet door? Yeah, we can. Alright. Well, so we've got the, the spray paint. Is that going to help us out? I don't know. Max, can we distract him or something? Uh, that guy's hard to catch. This guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then. Thanks. You're a big help. <laughs> uh, remember when you had therapy? Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. <laughs> Be careful in here. Be careful not to break anyone while we're here. No promises. Of course not. I wish I had my banjo. I wish I had my banjo right now. And I wish I had a five-gallon tub of orange marshmallow peanuts. <laughs> that could be dangerous. Yours, too. <laughs> All right, well, so... This guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then. Thanks, you're a big help. So we're going to have to... Maybe we have got Let's to do something around. to his eyes. Great idea. C can we, like, use the spray paint on him? I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Sam. Fight it. <laughs> All right, it doesn't look like we can, no. Can we get up on the couch? I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. I wonder if we can... Hang on. Can we, like, do this? Like, turn it into I a mist? the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Sam! Fight it! No, we can't. All right, well. Can we do anything for the Hold intercom? All my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. All right, sorry. All right, any hey, ideas, Sybil? Sybil? I meant the other symbol. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? Yeah, we're trying, you know. Um, well, uh, 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 Peepers isn't the only hypnoty. I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours lurking around the neighborhood. Well, see if you can knock them unconscious as well. Or well, try. Oh boy! More gratuitous violence! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, why'd you stop giving tattoos? What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to <laughs> hang it up after that. Oh, uh, dear. I don't think I've ever been in here. It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo of for course. free. Of course. You can put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. <laughs> for the last time, no. <laughs> uh, are you really open 24 hours? The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. <laughs> Psychoanalyze me. What would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychoses? Tell you what, I'll give you a free session if you'll take care of this nut job for I me. heard that! I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility! Quickly! <laughs> Fine. We'll do something. Uh, right. See you later. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. So we're obviously going to need something else. Maybe there is an item we can pick up somewhere which is going to help us out here. Relax! Okay. Oh, the game saved there. Anything in the mailbox? Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, <laughs> memories. Fair enough. All right, doesn't look like we can go down there. Maybe we can use the spray paint to ruin this kid's um, painting on the wall. There's lots of graffiti around, actually. Let's see. Let's see if we can can do that. That'd be quite. Oh, anything in the dumpster? Did we search I that? I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I remember that. I actually. still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. <laughs> so I wonder if we can actually just knock him out because he's pretty distracted with the graffiti. So maybe we can just punch him. Happy rush. 
Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Hmm, okay, well that didn't work. Maybe we can just use the spray paint on the graffiti or something to annoy him. I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. Okay, fine. Can we just spray him? Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. I wonder if it's something to do with the um the soda they're drinking. It's like making them really hyper. It's possible, right? Let's try let's try spraying over one of the other that bits. Need another coat. One of the other bits of graffiti. This could use a little improvement. Ah, oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze. Right, so he's distracted there, so can we can we hit him now? No, he still knows. Okay. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. I wonder, do you know what? I wonder if now that he's doing that, if we can drop the bowling ball out of the window onto him. That might work, right, if he's doing that. Because he's right beneath the window. And we already know we can climb out of the window because we've done it before. So let's see. Let's go to the open window. Ah, oh, yeah, he's still down there. Right, quick, drop the bowling ball onto Specs. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. <laughs> you made me mess up. Good. Two down, one to go. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey. That was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. I'm guessing this is the Brady well, we've guy. admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so what we need now is to find a way to get that other guy. No dice. How are we going to do that? That is the question. Did we click on the lava lamp before? Helps if we actually click it. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand. Oh, we did. I remember that. that. Me. Which is why I haven't tried it. So should we try the tape while we're here? See what happens if we do that? Let's see. Give it a go. Okay, Max. Ready for that ocular workout? No! Stop! We don't have any popcorn. <laughs> Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Ah, oh, here we go. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you Whoa. tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. Want to name all your children after me? <laughs> okay. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look. Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Well. That was eventful, wasn't it? So we've seen it in action now, then. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Fine. So let's head off. Um, got the dart. I mean, can we take some of the darts or something to One throw? One of these in? days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. All right. Well, that's not working, is it? All right. Well, it always like narrows down on the. The fish. So Specs is out of business. So let's try going back to Bosco's and see if there's anything that we can do in there. Can't pick any of that up. Bosco's inconvenience. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. 
don't need to use the loudspeaker for that. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Yeah. Uh... Uh, we want to buy something. We want to buy something. Let's see if he's actually got, got anything out. to... Uh, give us the tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. We don't have ten thousand oh, dollars. It's a bargain. Trust me. Trust me. I never trust a man that says trust me. <laughs> we gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist and quick. Uh, okay, so he won't give us the tear gas. Give me the ten thousand bucks. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist and quick. So we're gonna have to find nothing for us right now. Okay. We have to find ten thousand dollars. Sleep with two eyes open. Let's see if there's anything that we can find. Maybe there's. I mean, there's that sort of parking thing outside. That might tie in with the motorist thing. Maybe. Can we talk to Max? Uh, no, not I'll well. Let you get back to your shopping. Yeah, you Sometimes get, it's best not to ask. You get back to whatever you were doing. So let's head out. Um, find an illegally. What was he said? A, a wealthy motorist. So maybe we can... Can we, like, fine... Not fine... <laughs> you can actually just shoot things! What the hell? That's pretty cool. I didn't realise we could just, like, pull up street Remember things. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Can we... Can we do anything to this? Has this got like $10,000 worth of coins? Apparently not. Unless we can punch it or something. I'd rather punch other things. Right, now we can't punch it. Okay, well... Let's, uh... Let's see. Can we do anything with this? Where are we going, Sam? Oh, look! Let's go give a ticket to a rich criminal. Okay, let's cool. Let's for lawbreakers. Oh, so we can actually use the car. That's pretty cool to know. So we're not confined to just one area then. Be interesting to see what this is like. Whoa, here we go. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. <laughs> no, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Oh, is it a mini game? On it, little buddy. Could it be a mini game? Oh, it is. Megaphone. How do how do we? Oh, I see. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. What what can we shoot here? Please accept my condolences for your tail light. <laughs> how do we? Sam one, tail light zero. How do we um? How do Attention we arrest fellow drivers? If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> so what do we do here? There's like some ramps and things. How do we arrest the driver? Do we like just crash into the side of them or something? I want to get over one of those ramps if possible. Oh, pull over. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. This is cool. I like this. Is this a rich driver? Hello. We're freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Uh, incredibly excessive speed, dangerously reckless driving. Hideously broken tail light. <laughs> Look at these ones. Uh, dangerously reckless driving. You were swerving all over the road like a drunken roller skater on wet ice. That was you. Oh yeah. We'll take it ourselves later. For now, we have more innocent victims to pull. <laughs> Ta ta. All right. So I wonder if, hmm, given that it seems to be breaking the law today. Give... Know, what's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates. So given that it said about taillights, I wonder if we've got to shoot out the taillights on cars and then pull them over? Why are there no cars? So 
So I'm thinking, let's try um, crashing into the back of a car to slow it down. Then we'll shoot the tail lights out. I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Okay, and then let's pull them over. Pull over, or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. What was that? It sounded like another gun. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. <laughs> What's the charge? Uh, broken tail light. Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. No. Your point being. Hmm, what's the fine for a broken tail light? Why, isn't it ten thousand dollars? <laughs> hey! What, are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Surely it won't work. <clears throat> my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Wow. If you'll excuse us, we got some accounting to do. Oh, we got the big bucks. So we can just be... Okay, let's go back to the office. So we can just be corrupt and just cause crimes and then find people for it to get money. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright then, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. We're actually out of time. So we'll try and buy that tear gas launcher thing in the next episode. Which I'm hoping is going to allow us to do something over here in Sybils. Um... But yeah, that does it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle and Barry Aldridge for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.